welcome back to another vlog my name is lauren if you're new here i feel like there's a really bad echo in here now we're gonna go to trader joe's and costco and then we're gonna go to ikea i really want to get an outdoor rug from ikea and then some other little stuff like christian wants to get a new desk to get like a bigger setup and that way i can like sit and edit there too so that's what we want to do today it's really rainy and gloomy outside so sweatshirt and bigger shorts it is i'll probably film a trader joe's haul when we get back to show you what we got i think we're gonna do like a huge restock we haven't gone to trader joe's since before we moved obviously because we just moved last weekend but first week in the apartment so far so good <music> We're doing this since we're going to Costco after. So we gotta put all our Trader Joe's cold stuff in a bin. I'll do a haul when we get back home. just got back from running a bunch of errands we went to trader joe's costco and then we had lunch and then we went to ikea as promised i'm going to show you what we got from trader joe's just laid it all out on the the counter hickory barbecue potato chips haven't tried these these look good these dark russet kettle cooked potato chips sound interesting got some everything but the elote chips these are really good with this chunky guacamole. It's so good together. Got these ice cream sandwiches. These yogurt covered pretzels. Finally found these in Trader Joe's, the almond butter almonds. Haven't tried these yet, so I'm so excited to try them. I heard they're so good. Pita crackers because we got some cheese. We got the Syrah cheese. I didn't pull that out. Okay. Looks like this. This is what the cheese looks like. It's so, so, so good. And it's not that expensive. It's like under five bucks. Trader Joe's has really good cheese selection. Sourdough bread. I freeze this. It's the key to sourdough bread for it to stay good for longer freeze it and then just toast it on defrost and it tastes the same i got some quinoa because we were out garlic powder ginger shots can't go to trader joe's and not get some ginger shots they're the best and they're really cheap wheat potato gnocchi orange chicken sweet potato fries these are really 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 good burgers buffalo burgers hash browns of course and then fried rice to go with the orange chicken. And I think that's basically what we got. I'm gonna try these and let you guys know if they're good, but you probably have already tried them because they've been a trend or out for a little while now. And then we went to Costco, got toilet paper. Christian is a bad influence. Picked up those, dangerous to have. And then from Costco, we just got some ground beef things of salmon that we have to vacuum seal. And we also, oh, we also got these filets from Trader Joe's. They have really good center cut filets. And then we got a restock on all of our chicken. So that's the little haul. And let me put this stuff away. This is the rug. Showed a little clip in Ikea, but it's like a cheap rug. I think it was like 30 bucks. So, it's fine. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a rug that goes outside anyway. Kinda. It's like sprinkling. It's the same. <laughs> I 
Oh my gosh, this might look really ugly. Maybe I just need to complete the space with other stuff and take down the Christmas lights. So I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods and try and get some lanterns to put over there with a bunch of different sized candles. Make it super cute and maybe find something for this table. Kinda wanna make it super cozy out here. But I'm not really feeling the Christmas lights at all. So maybe it just needs to be complete with the rug and the, maybe it's just missing stuff. So we'll see. find at home goods I just got home from home goods I was carrying so much stuff up I stopped and get and got some batteries too. The biggest bag of stuff from Home Goods. Let me back you up. So I took a little clip in Home Goods. You probably already saw everything that I got. But I got this like three piece candle set for the patio and to put in these lanterns. So let's we'll see how they look with the candles inside. I really wanted to get like big ones and then put like three candles in each of different sizes, but it's really hard to find something like that. And there was like huge ones of these, but that was just a way too much. I didn't want to spend like 80 bucks on one lantern. These were like 20 bucks a piece and the candle set was 20 bucks. So it's like a really good deal on them. I'm not gonna take the tags off yet because I don't know how they're gonna look. What? That looks so cute. Okay, I gotta figure out if that's the place that it's gonna go. And how does it look with the Christmas lights? Is it too much? It's a little edge. Okay, I think it looks better with the rug and that and the chairs. Okay, perfect. Love it. Oh, look how cozy it is at nighttime. The weather isn't that great, but... Okay, it's the next day. I just changed into a swimsuit. I was gonna wear a red swimsuit because it's the 4th of July, but I think I'm gonna go with this navy one. Just looks like this. The only issue is, is it's kind of weirdly bigger up here that's why i keep <laughs> going like this and then i'm wearing these like light colored shorts or custom levi's from Allegrace. so i don't know what top i'm gonna wear yet but 
I think this is the swimsuit I'm gonna go with. Got a new flavor of June Shines, the blood orange flavor, I'll show you. I tried them a few weeks ago when we went on the lake. Still kinda cloudy and gloomy, but the sun's kind of hiding over there. So, we'll see. Got a 12 pack of Topo Chico flavors are tangy lemon lime, tropical mango, strawberry guava, and exotic pineapple. I've heard really good things about the Topo Chico hard seltzers, so I'm excited to try them. And then I got more June shines in the blood orange mint flavor. So we'll see if those are good. I know that the other ones that I tried a few weeks ago got like mixed reviews from my friends on them. And they did taste like beer, but they didn't bloat me at all, which I loved. So I've heard that that's a thing where it doesn't bloat you, which is good. There's cane sugar in them. That's the only thing. I'll let you guys know if they're good. And I'll also let you guys know if the Topo Chico's are good too. yesterday and I also got it on my like chest you can't really tell in this mirror it's not really okay you kind of can um got a little bit burnt the tan line um from yesterday and then I have like a little tan line right here and on my nose and a little bit on my cheeks that you can kind of see that I just made a coffee I went to breakfast with Taylor and Maya this morning we went to first watch I didn't vlog I also got one of those things that we used to have one that hangs from the shower head but it just didn't really work in this bathroom it kind of would slide down because there's obviously so much stuff on it and I got it from bed bath and beyond but it was so hard to attach because those suction cups so you have to like push all four of them because there's two on the bottom two on the top to get the whole stand to stick and you're like pushing but also screwing the cap it was just it was a little difficult to put on but so far it hasn't fallen so but yeah i think it looks so much better than it hanging from the shower head so, because it doesn't come with this shower didn't have any shelves in it usually it just has one like over there but that's an update on that got some stuff for my lunches for the week for work and it's pouring outside that was fantastic I also got more Raspberry Lime Spindrift, best. I'll show you what I'm making for my lunches for the week. Okay, this is the progress I have made so far on my lunches. I put together the little lettuce mixture with the tomato medley cut up. Black beans are rinsed, just the guac on the side. Taco meat is simmering, I'm cooking these right now, which is so quick. I actually was going to do regular corn, but then I remembered that I had this roasted corn 
from Trader Joe's. It's so, so good. And it's really easy and quick to make in the pan. I'll show you what it looks like when I put it all together. But I do have what I eat in workday videos. I have two of them and one. Of, this is a recipe for one of them. Except in that one I did pico instead of tomatoes, but I used this and this, and I think I used that corn. So if you're interested in seeing what I meal prep, I just, I'm always doing turkey because ground turkey reheats well in the microwave and chicken just doesn't, unless the chicken's grilled. Like if I bake chicken in the oven, it does not reheat well. If you guys meal prep, you know what I'm talking about. It just gets that weird taste it's not good. I just can't, I can't do it. So I do ground turkey because it's just, it reheats well, doesn't change flavor, any of that stuff. So it's really easy. And that's mainly why I do it as my main source of protein for my meal prep. Okay, here is everything plated. So I separate these because I heat this container up in the microwave and then that I don't. I'm just going to put the guac in each dish and then I let it cool down a little bit and then I cover it up. So this is what I'll take for lunches for the week. It's only a four day week, but I usually only meal prep for four days. And then the fifth day I'll take like a sandwich. I'll do like tuna and crackers, like canned tuna, tuna sandwich. Like I'll just get creative or I'll eat out. So this lunch is for the week. I need to clean up the kitchen, unload the dishwasher, switch the laundry, <laughs> do all the things. but it's kind of an eyesore and there's no good spot in the kitchen to put it. So I kind of just keep it in our little pantry cabinet thing and then I pull it out when we want to use it. So we plug it in down here. It's not cute with the cord. I think I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes. This is the best thing for scrubbing your makeup brushes. Scrubs your brushes really good. They have them on Amazon. Thank you. 